Hello and welcome to another video. Uh, in this video we're going to look at the status node and in particular we're going to look at uh, using the status node to control the flow. We're actually going to control uh, connections to uh, MQTT broker and you can see in this flow here this, uh, that I'm going to use as a, as a demo that we've got two brokers here. We've got uh, Pi, this is Pi2 and this is the local host. Now I've done a, a video about the status node before and it was in response to that video that I got a suggestion that uh, I should uh, do another video on controlling uh, flows using the status node rather than just reporting errors using the status node. So let me take you through this flow and what it's supposed to do. Now what we've got here is a gate node. We've got two gate nodes. Now you have to install these gate nodes. They're not part of the default installation. You can see here it comes comes in down here, the gate node. And all you do with these gate nodes is you send a signal to it, a control signal to it, to open or to close. And I've actually got two gate nodes here, and one's feeding in this pi and the other one's feeding in this pi. Now I've got a gate control logic here in a function node which basically sends a signal to open this or close this and sends a signal to open this one or close this one. And here we just got test messages going through and the idea is normal flow is the test messages go, th go through here gate 1 and out onto Pi 2. Now if Pi 2 fails the messages then this closes and this opens and the messages flow this way to the local host. Now if Pi 2 comes back online it switches back and starts flowing in the default direction. So the status node is is there. We've got it to monitor Pi 1 and Pi 2. And when I get a signal out here it goes into the gate control. Now we're going to store the node status in a, a flow variable called node, state, node status. So we pick that up straight away when we come into the function. We also pick up the status color which is the fill and we pick up the name which is actually the name of the broker so this would be localhost or pi2 so we we know the color and we know the name of the broker now we're actually going to use the color to determine whether the broker is up or not if you if I close that if you look at the broker here you can see it's green when it's connected and if it gets disconnected it will go red so I'm just going to pick up the fill color and that fill color will tell me whether the broker is active or whether the broker is down Okay, we have a couple of functions here, a couple of if statements that picks up the default condition if it's undefined, so if we haven't stored anything in there we set it to 1. Now this is where we test if it's up, if the status color is green, then we set the status of that broker to 1, otherwise we set it to 0 so it's down. And then we have a collection of if statements that basically check the broker and its state and adjust the payload. Now the payload is going to open or close the gate so when the one's open the other one's going to be closed. Now the command we send in there is open and close so we set message.payload to open and message1.payload to close if we've got uh, pi2 1 and we've got localhost as 1. So that's the default condition. If both are up we're going to prefer the pi2 route we only use the local host route if Pi2 is down. So these are all these tests down here and I say they're going to send open and close or close and open whichever. So we go all the way down, we've got several of them and at the end of it we store the status back into the node status and we return message and message1. And the function has got two outputs feeding the gates. So output1 which is message goes into this gate here and that one goes into that gate there. Now I've got a test message going through here so we can s actually see it and I've also got a couple of user interface uh, nodes so I can display it. So now if I just go and show you that it shows you here Pi2 and test message t uh, 217 so I'm actually got a, I've got a counter on the test message so we can see it. So our default path is through Pi2 and you can see it here it's, it's been running and the messages are coming out on Pi2 and uh, nothing on localhost. Now if I go and 
turn off Pi 2 and I've just done it you can see here it's switched straight away now gate 2 is open and if I go here you can see the message is coming out on localhost now if I op if I start it again now they started coming out on Pi 2 nothing on, on localhost and if I look at here you can see that's now closed and that's now okay so that's it uh, nice and quick video I'll put a link to the old um, status node video in the description below uh, the flow I'll make available as usual and in the download so you can download the flow and try it yourself and I hope you found it useful if you like to comment on the video then please use the comment below if you'd like to get notified of new videos on the channel then please subscribe to it now I do publish a newsletter on the website so if you want to sign up for that newsletter and get notified of uh, new tutorials as well as videos then head over to the website and do that and until next time goodbye